In this video, I am going to show you this old-fashioned rotary phone. Before we had cell phones and touch tone phones, there were rotary phones. So the way that this phone works is you lift this phone off of its cradle, and once you do, these two knobs release, and you can hear in the earpiece a, a dial tone. So once that, once the phone is taken off the cradle, to dial the number, you just find the number on the front and then you put your finger in the slot next to the number and you pull down until you hit this metal piece. And then once you do that, there is something in the phone that registers what number you have selected by how long it takes for your finger to reach this metal portion of the phone. So a few other things about this phone. At the bottom right here, there is a little space for the person to put um, their phone number, perhaps maybe their name. Um, it looks like it's most likely for a phone number that is assigned to this given phone. And underneath the phone, I found a logo. A logo, it says PTT. I do not know what that stands for. I'm going to flip this over and show you the back side. I love the manufacturer puts the year it was manufactured. So September 1956 is on the bottom side and Made in Holland sticker as well. Um, really cool that the Made in Holland sticker has been left on this phone. Um, it's funny that I like almost always immediately remove those kind of things from my products, but now this has come in handy for historical references. And underneath the Made in Holland sticker is the brand, I think of the phone, um, Ericsson, is is what it says, even though that sticker covers it. Um, I was able to find another version of the logo on the phone itself. Um, not sure if you can see. Oh, it's upside down. Um, but right there it says Ericsson. So that must be the brand of the phone. And I'm not sure what PTT stands for, but there you have it. Um, a uh, fun fact about this phone is it still works and it was actually a phone that we used when I was growing up in my house until um, the landline was disconnected in about 2018 or 19. So if there was a landline hooked up to this phone today, it would still work. Um, I wonder if the same will be said about our cell phones that were made in the 2000s and going forward into um, the, the 2050s or or later. <laughs> so this phone still works. Um, the cord has a cloth covering and then underneath there are some the wires and, and cables are underneath. So there you have it. Uh, this is a rotary phone from 1956. Thank you for watching.